Hi there, welcome to something of everything. In this video, we will see about structure toolbar in State Pro. What the State Help Manual says about it. Let us see first. Where is the structure toolbar? So here is the structure toolbar. As you can see. Let us see what the Help Manual says about it. Structure toolbar. It contains tools that enable quick access to commonly used pull down menu items for structure modeling function. Let us see what it says. It's tables. Opens the tables dialog which is used to select tables for display on screen. Where is it? Here is the tables. You can see. If you want to see about anything, let us see. Okay. Click on beams. It will show about the beam property. Okay. The next is input units. Opens the set current input unit dialogs which is used to set the length and force units for specifying the input data. Let's select it. This is input unit. You can change it and press OK. Then what the third is set current display unit. Change the graphical display unit. Okay. What the state help says about it. Opens the dialog option dialog which is used to change the length and force unit for various values which can be displayed in the graphics window such as member properties, material constant, load magnitude, spread stresses etc. Let us see how. We will open this option dialog. Where is it? It is in view and options. The same window will open and you can change it. We will learn about options then few next videos what the next is cut section what the quick help shows it about it it displays the specific section of the structure what the help manual says about it cut a cross section of the structure in the graphics window ok let us see how select it range by joint in which plane you want to cut the section if you select that and press ok it will cut the section from it let's go on show all it will show the whole structure let's remove the axis of rotation i think you are getting a point if you have a grid system in your architectural drawing and you want to see it grid by grid just click on the nodes that you want to see and the plan you want to see okay what the other is range by minimum x y if you want to see from let us say 0 to 10 meter uh, 3 meter that will show that much section okay select to view window rubber band that only will be shown Let's see it again. Select to view. You are highlighted only. If you have selected that, you can do it. If I select this, it will cut the section of that part only. What's next? If we have selected it before and you highlighted view, it will show the highlighted view only. Okay. Anytime, just remove it. The section. This is better. Select a view beams, plates or solid. Because there are beams only, it will show the beams only. Let us use select a view nodes. Only the nodes are displayed. Okay. It's better to use this to cross check the model. <coughs> now the next thing is symbols and labels. Select with symbols and labels to display. The quick help says it. Towards the display of beam node labels support icon. Let us see the labels. The label window opens. If you right click here and click on labels, it will show the same. Okay. You can view it in structure diagram and labels. Okay. You can change it or you can use the shortcuts for it. You can find all the shortcuts of State Pro 
in our website www.tinytopic.in just press shift b and it will show the beam values beam levels likewise all the shortcuts are there in the, in the website you can see it let's say what is the next loads load toolbar load it shows displays the loads in the active window if i click it and click on dl it will show dead load this will be the active load case it will be shown as you can see if i change it to this it will show all the things okay do we need to go to help menu for that i just don't think so right what's next it shows dimension it gives us a function where you can see dimension of all the beams you can remove it just by removing it if you give dimension to <coughs> A list of the members. Let us have one or one display. There is no one over, right? This is one double zero two one. One double zero two one in this plan. It will show the value of that we only. Just remove it. Let us say display to select elements. Select it. Let's go to display. Sorry. Display. It came. Remove. It will remove. Remove. Okay. What this was? This was showing the dimensions. You can see it in the tools dimension beams. Okay. The next is display node to node distance. Just click on it and click between two nodes, and you can get the dimension of that beam. It's just below the dimension beams in the tools menu. Okay. Next is once you have given it, you have to remove it. Just press this. What it says: remove all node to node distance display just below this. Okay. What's the next? It's info. It shows about the structural info of the structure. What's the name? Tutorial two. What's the type of the structure space? What's the title? You can add it. Title you can add from job menu. If you have filled this, you will get get all the info in here. Title of it in here. What is so your shows the model geometry, load cases, and the command present in the file. These are the commands present. We have not any command, not given any command, preprinted or crossprint. In concrete design commands are here in this structure. You can see it. You can see about structural diagram info from here and information from here also. <coughs> okay. Now the next. It shows scale, scale of different values can be seen from here, from structure, diagram, and scale. You will learn later about all the things. This is insert text. Just click on it, click here anywhere, and just write. Okay, just press OK and it will display. You can select it and move it. Just select it and press delete and you will it. You can delete it. Okay, where is it? It's here. In tools menu, insert text. Okay, so this was the structure toolbar. Thank you for watching us. Do like, comment, share on the video and yeah, don't forget to. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you.